Hey up, I'm the Yorkshire Time Lord, and these are my thoughts on Big Finish's recent Sartre de Harlan Master and Joe Martin Fugitive Doctor announcement. Okay, so Big Finish announced some really cool audio releases the other day. Basically, they announced that they will be releasing some Satcha de Howard Master audio dramas and also some Joe Martin Fugitive Doctor audio dramas too. There's not much known about these upcoming releases. All we basically know is that Satcha de Howard will be returning for the Master box sets, which are called Call Me Master, and there will be two of them comprising three audio dramas in each box set, so six audio dramas in total. And for the Joe Martin audio front, um, she's going to be recording two box sets as well. Uh, they're just called The Fugitive Doctor Adventures, and there will be three audio dramas in each, so six audio dramas in total. We don't know the guest cast, we don't know the writers, we don't know what characters are involved. But it's still hugely exciting news. There's so much potential for these audio releases. When you look at Joe Martin's Fugitive Doctor alone, there's that whole period where she's working for the Division, doing various missions for the Time Lords that they can explore, which carries a hell of a lot of potential. It's just the fact that she's a more violent and abrasive Doctor than we're used to, too. So she's prepared to go to lengths for the Jodie Whittaker's Doctor and previous Doctors that we've seen on screen wouldn't normally go to. She's a Doctor who would literally whip a Jadoon rhino horn off a Jadoon and she'll kill people with weapons that she knows are going to backfire like she did with Gat. And uh, they could bring in various characters such as Gat and Carvinista and Lee and there's also the time after Fugitive of a Jadoon which we haven't really seen anything of her Doctor post-fugitive of a Jadoon yet. So we've got absolutely no idea what she got up to after killing Gat. There's so much uh, that they could explore there during that period and what kind of adventures that she got up to. And then you look at Satcha de Hallen's Master too, and Satcha de Hallen is absolutely fantastic at playing that Master. It's like a combination of Roger Delgado's Master and John Sims' master. He has this really sly and manipulative side, but he also has a more manic personality from John Sims' incarnation, which is really quite engaging to watch. And with his master, there's that whole period where the first Thief Doctor left him stranded on Earth. And I would love to see that be explored and see what he got up to, uh, what mischief he got up to without the Doctor when he was stranded on Earth. I believe that Matthew Sweet wrote a great short story where he blamed, where he joined the Soviet Russia version of UNIT and there's a lot that they could explore there with him acting as a scientific advisor to the Russian UNIT and how he contrasts to John Pertry's doctor who acted as a scientific advisor to our UNIT. I could imagine uh, Satcha the Hound's Master getting up to some really shady activities on behalf of Soviet Russia's unit. There's definitely a lot that can be done there and I think there's not so much potential, there's, there's not quite as much potential for returning characters with the Satcha the Hound Master box sets, but they could introduce some really great new characters um, who could feature alongside this incarnation of a master. And there's also the whole period as well where he decided to blow up Gallifrey because he learned the truth about the timeless child. And I'd like to see what it was that led to that point. You know, what was it between his regeneration from Missy to discovering the truth about the Doctor which led to him basically killing his entire species and destroying the planet? Because there's a lot of untapped potential to explore there and what led to such a drastic decision as that. I think Big Finish could really have fun exploring that. And there's a great teaser as well in the press release for these new adventures where they mention some further 13th Doctor era adventures to be announced. Which makes me wonder which other characters could return. 
I've seen talk that apparently Kevin McNally, who plays Juicho in in Flux, has accidentally revealed he's been recording some audios. So that makes me wonder if we could get some Yaz, Dan and Juicho audio adventures. And perhaps we could even get Jodie Whittaker returning quite soon to playing her doctor. She does seem very keen on the whole audio type, uh, on, the, on the whole audio format with the way that she's been recording these half an hour audio releases Doctor Who Redacted for BBC Sounds and it would be really cool to see a Newsday's Doctor join really quick uh, really soon after leaving the show I would really love to see that happen But what are your thoughts on these new Doctor Who audio dramas that have been announced by Big Finish? Let me know in the comments section below and if you like what you see don't forget to like, comment and subscribe!